What is up guys, it's me KRTV and in today's video I'm going to be showing you another tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at face textures. So what I've got here, I've got a 512 by 512 canvas. And what you need to do is, I don't know, just Google, Google Images. If you want a guy, search for a guy, girl, search for a guy, you want a perfectly full on image of a person's face. For example, I've got one here. As you can see, he's looking dead at you straight on and both sides are, are practically even in terms of lighting because lighting is important in the sense that if one side is darker than the other it's extra work so now you've got this you want to get rid of the outside like for example ears hair this background so what you do go to the pen tool and essentially create a shape around the head trying to avoid any of like the hair or features that you don't want. So do half of it. I'm just gonna untick it so I can see where her face is under it. Just curve it round to essentially make the shape. So I'm just gonna tick that back again, make it viewable, copy and paste, flip it, put it on the outside, you now have a shape put them together, add, and there we go. We now have an outline of a face. We're not finished there. We want to do, you want to be able to blend it into a color that you want for your desired skin tone. So what you do, if you take a rectangle, make it the size of the canvas, just put it behind. Then usually what I do, I will take the color dropper, and pick it somewhere around the outside of the face, so the darker area. And just change the color, there we go, it's still not perfect, but there's more work to be done. So what I do, I'll copy and paste the face, untick one of them, the reason I copy it is so there's a backup in case I mess up. So next you want to take the curve that you're using, the one that's ticked, rasterize it and then I will usually go to inner glow set that to normal color you want it to be the color of the rectangle and just fill it in a bit maybe lower higher the intensity just you want it just to fill in the inside a bit there we go and then if you go to your vector tools or your pixel tool sorry if you go to blur make the pen nice and big and then just slowly blur the outside of the face so you can't see the colors might just faded just that little bit more there we go and then as well it's not quite there you've got little bits of dark here so I do make a pixel layer get the Vector brush, make it the color, have a low hardness but a large brush, then slowly trace around the shape, copy and paste, flip it, put it to the side so that way it's symmetrical, highlight both of them, and then you want to turn on the Gaussian blur and then increase it just a little, maybe bring it out one of them then centralize essentially plays it how you want and then you can either do that or I like to put it straight inside the pixel so there we go we have a face texture now sometimes that doesn't work sometimes you still get a little bit of darkness around the edge so for argument's sake I'm just going to change the color so you can see what I'm doing if you create a layer a brand new layer Put your pixel layer in it now collecting that layer if you go to the transparency tool set that to elliptical and then if you arrange it correctly this ain't perfect but you get what i mean you can make the edges go transparent towards the center which is that really dark dot 
you could do that just to fade the edges just a little bit more. Just quickly make that rectangle back to our original color. And there we go. We have ourselves a brilliant face texture. You can import this in. You can either put it on top of the cause face as a face art or do the whole face capture thing. And when it comes to, if you go through with the face capture thing, if you want to pick a skin color, just put the dropper anywhere on the rectangle on the outside of the face. And well, yeah, that's been BKR TV. That's how to make a face texture for WWE 2K17 using a Finley designer. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. If there's any other tutorials you want to see me make, put them in the comments below. I will catch you next time and peace.